What's up, guys? We're going to do something a little different today. We're not doing a defensive film study. We're looking at one guy in particular, Mr. Anthony Nelson, a guy that doesn't get his name called a lot. But let's break it down. He had a good day against the Jets. He had a sack here against Zach Wilson. I like the inside move, him on the outside right here, using his space, quickness, getting underneath the tackle. Yes, it's a lesser tackle. It doesn't matter. He executes the, a concept, a technique, and he wins. What do you like about this, Plus? Right. Like you said, you know, Anthony Nelson, a 2019 fourth round pick. I mean, he's really, you know, developed well. This is his third year and this is just a good move. I mean, understanding his matchup, you know, setting him up with the inside move and does a good job of finishing it. And I like the angles too. So he's starting all the way out here, comes inside for a guy six, seven, we'll say 270 pounds. This is hard to do. Staying low, not getting pushed off your spot here from the tackle and continuously getting up field. Then finishing, JTS has got to get better at finishing. Anthony Nelson here finishes. I like it. I mean, this is a guy who doesn't get his name called. Again, I want to mention that. he just He's doing his job. Let's put it that way. Again, you see him here on the outside, just pushing the pocket, moving the tackle backwards. What do you like with this? Right. His, his bull rush is definitely, I think, his forte, and it's probably his best move. Does a good job of being physical, getting the tackle off balance. Now it's just, you know, becoming that, taking that next step where he can do that bull rush, but, you know, put it into another counter move where he can disengage a little bit more. But he shows his power and strength here. Uh, again, good throw by Zach Wilson. But this is, uh, you know, good technique, good uh, good job by Anthony. Yeah, where people would say, oh, you don't, he's not doing anything. It's the hand battling. It's the getting the, the hands off the chest. It's execution. It's all we're looking for. Here, check him out on the outside. Again, watch the length. Getting the chest plate of that tackle right here, extending through, not letting him maintain the block, getting upfield. Zach Wilson, you got to get rid of this ball or I'm going to eat you. What do you like? Yeah, I like this here. Again, this is a good job of getting into the tackle and then, you know, disengaging with the long arm and, and getting up the field. So, yeah, you like this. You like to see it more consistently. Again, he's not a super athlete, but again, he'll hustle to the ball and get after it. And good job there of, you know, forcing that completion. And no one's ever going to doubt his motor. I mean, he's got that. His bull rush is easily his best move. Check him out here. I love the direction of it, too. I mean, look at him faking upfield and then direction right into the tackle's chest plate. I mean, once you get this guy on his back foot, you're more prone to actually get a push. Look at that. A push right through, almost gets there again. And then Carlton Davis, you got to come down with this catch. But still, when you have pressure like this, you're going to force bad throws, quick throws, quick decisions. It usually means turnovers. What do you like with this one? Yeah, here I, I love this because, again, just using his strength. But like you said, turning upfield, but then going back directly to the quarterback is really nice. And he knows he's got the strength advantage on this tackle, pushes him off balance, and, again, forces this this ball to come out quicker than it needs to be. And that's all we're asking. We're not asking him to be Shaq Barrett, JPP. He's playing within the system, doing his job. That's the biggest thing that any coach will ask, the best thing, and check out that motor. The endless motor will never stop on a play. I'll let you break this down because he literally ran probably 50 yards in this play. Hey, I think he did. And this was, again, a good concept. They're, they're trying to get a free rusher here as they're going to loop him around uh, the edge. And he does a good job of just continuing to fight. And you see there, get off blocks, continue to work up the, the field and chase after Zach Wilson, which is a very difficult task in its own. And he, he really makes this play because if he doesn't hustle, you know, what, you know, who knows what happens. Yeah, with these guys that can scramble all around, I mean, the more time you have, the more time there is for a receiver to get open. Him in the running game, this is his bread and butter. Let's be honest. He can set the edge better than, than most of our defensive ends. Check him out here. I know it wasn't the best day stopping the run overall, but he did well in his job. I mean, look where he's at as opposed to everyone else on the line. He's in the backfield doing his thing, grabs the guy with one arm, drags him, secures him down. I love it. Tell me more. Right. When you when you watch tape of this game, I mean, Anthony did a great job of the run. Like you said, he was really containing his spot. He wasn't getting pushed back very much. He was doing a good job of, as you see here, fighting through traffic, getting downfield again, using that motor. And the Jets did a lot of this where they were running away from Anthony Nelson because they knew he was that good. Uh, so he was definitely just always in his spot. And, he, and that's what he does. He, he does his job. And it's it's very nice to see. And more in the running game, you're going to see, look at him getting upfield, being, making the running back run backwards. That's what you want to see. And then you, your teammates need to help you out, correct? That's what team defense is. 
you just got to secure tackles. Anthony Nelson did his job, executed well. You just got to hope the rest of your team helps out. Getting through this block initially, number 16 is trying to push down on him. Nope, getting through. I mean, I like this. Execution, doing your assignment, being where you need to be. Yeah, that chunk should not have been there. JTS saves the day. Other than that, Anthony Nelson, great job. And now, in pass coverage, guys act like this 6'7", 270 guys is a big slob, can't do nothing. He's got some swifty feet. Check that out. Break it down for me, please. Plus. Yeah, this this was really nice. Um, again, good play design, and he's just dropping back into that zone. Take away that you know that first read that Zach Wilson is trying to get to, um, and and maybe could have had interception here. Uh, but again, we're not expecting that from him. But he does a good job of just getting that ball tipped, and you know, hoping his teammates come down with it. But a good job of just being in his spot yet again. Yeah, this is a lot of what Todd Bowles asks his defensive players to do. Sometimes drop back, not all the time, but. Just being that big in the space with that wingspan, incredible. Guys, I hope you like this type of content. Let us know down below. So comment, is Anthony Nelson a guy you've heard of before? Do you like him? Do you think he's doing pretty good? Based on what you've seen on the tape, let us know. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Like the video if you liked it. And with that said, until the next one.